Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to the organizers for having invite me, invited me <coughs> to this interesting conference. So my talk today will uh, concern uh, the uh, perspective of a new possible technology uh, to be applied in the future to wearable uh, electronics. And this technology is uh, organic semiconductor space. So a short summary of my talk. I will uh, talk first uh, about uh, the general idea of organic electronics. Then I will show you two possible uh, uh, examples of application of this technology uh, for well, wearable el electronics. The first application concerns the development of a planar structure for making active devices, and I will show you some examples of application. And then I will talk about non-planar structures, so the, with the new concept of the electronic yarn. Finally, the conclusion. So organic electronics is uh, a relatively recent uh, discipline uh, is uh, the, the first uh, um, uh, researchers working on this uh, field received the Nobel Prize in the 2000 for a job that has been made at the beginning of the 80s. So it's a relatively recent field. And the basic idea of this uh, um, branch is to work uh, for making uh, uh, a new kind of uh, uh, materials uh, that basically, very roughly, can be described as materials that join together the mechanical properties of plastics and uh, of organic compounds in general and the electronic properties of semiconductors. So this is made by um, organic uh, uh, chemistry methods. And uh, this has really opened the way uh, to a new technology because uh, with the, the, the chemical synthesis, it is really possible to uh, endow the materials with an extremely huge variety of uh, functionalities, not only under the point of view of the electronic properties, but also, for instance, under the point of view of the chemical uh, sensitivity, for instance. So in, in principle, it is possible to synthesize the materials that have uh, the foreseen electronic properties, but has, for instance, also some kind of chemical sensitivities, and these kind of materials can be used, for instance, for making um, sensing uh, devices. Of course, not only uh, semiconductors are necessary to, to make uh, real functioning uh, devices, also other classes of materials are necessary. So, for instance, it is necessary to make conductive uh, uh, layers for uh, um, building up uh, electronic devices, and this can be done uh, both by traditional metals and also by conductive polymers. And, uh, of course, also insulating layers are often needed for, to to build uh, devices and, uh, and circuits. And again, there is a large variety of uh, uh, insulating layers. Uh, also, some of them are uh, organic-based that can be used uh, for uh, making this. And finally, the research in the last year about the semiconductors has focused on uh, the, the, the need to have uh, um, semiconductors that are possibly solution processable because this possibility opens the way to a large variety of uh, low-cost techniques that can be applied to, uh, to, to, to pattern uh, these layers and to obtain uh, devices and circuits at a low cost. In particular, among these techniques, I will uh, mention the spin coating, photolithography, soft lithography, and probably most important of all, the inkjet printing techniques that really open the way of a new uh, of a real uh, low-cost technology because uh, basically this means that uh, all this technology can be uh, developed in a, um, in a, with the techniques that are really very economic and uh, that can be um, afforded by a large variety of, uh, for instance, of companies in contrast to the silicon technology that is on the opposite, very expensive and very uh, sophisticated. So basically, uh, the, the, the topic of this talk is to show how, to, how this uh, technology could be applied in a not too far future, possibly, to the wearable uh, area. And here I would say there are two possible approaches. On one end, the idea of making planar structures, so flexible film that could be applied on textile substrate. And uh, with this kind of uh, idea, we can really exploit the possibility of using printing technique, uh, techniques and roll-to-roll -roll techniques for uh, making this kind of, uh, of uh, concept. And on the other end, the other idea is much more um, 
far in the future because it's much more less, much less mature. But the idea is to try to obtain non-planar uh, structures, in particular, for instance, cylindrical structures, in order to make with uh, or plastic electronics uh, directly the yarn. So the idea is to build up a, a yarn endowed with electronic properties and to use the yarn to make a new kind of e-textiles, let's say. So the first uh, idea has something to do with a more um, extended concept of printed electronics. Printed electronics does not um, include only um, organic semiconductors-based electronics. Organic semiconductors-based uh, based electronics is a part of it. And here we can see, we can see in this slide that uh, uh, there are several uh, um, systems, several functions that could be implemented for wearable systems. Some of them, the, the one in blue, can be uh, done with the printed electronic solutions. And these are examples of what could be uh, done with uh, printed electronics. Uh, the, the final product could be something, could be large areas uh, that are flexible, stretchable, low cost, and uh, really uh, in printing is, uh, is uh, the, the, the best technology for obtaining such kind of, uh, of products. Here are some examples of what can be uh, possible can be possible already now with uh, organic semiconductors. It is possible to make uh, simple transistors, but also sensors, solar cells, light emitting diodes. Here are some examples. And here in the corner, sorry, uh, there is uh, uh, maybe some of you have already seen this, the idea that was proposed in the last year by Professor Somei of the Tokyo University of uh, making uh, an electronic skin for robotic application. And this, uh, this first example has been proposed by, by this Japanese group and is, uh, is becoming uh, a reality, a commercial reality. Here is an ex another example that we have made in Cagliari uh, in the frame of the Proetex project that uh, Pasquale mentioned before. Here we have uh, used the two, um, two pressure sensors made with the organic field effect transistors and we have placed these two sensors one in the heel and the other in the, in the sole of, uh, of a um, firefighter's boot. And with uh, this couple of sensors, it has been possible to distinguish between the different phases uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of the gate during uh, um, uh, an experiment. The second approach that I mentioned <coughs> was the idea of the electronic yarn. So basically here the idea is to put together the basic block of the textile technology, so the yarn, and the basic block of the electronics, so the transistor basically. And the idea is to realize a special kind of yarn that is a yarn for what concerns the mechanical properties, but it's a transistor or better, an array of transistors uh, for what concerns the possible electronic functions. So uh, we have realized uh, uh, this kind of a, f a very first prototype in our lab and we demonstrated that it is possible to obtain a, a cylindrical uh, geometry um, on uh, on a yarn that was uh, 50 microns uh, of uh, at 50 microns of uh, uh, diameter, uh, we obtained the uh, performances that are basically uh, comparable to the one that have been obtained uh, that are standard for planar uh, organic electronics. And very recently, also another very interesting example of organic-based uh, 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 um, yarn-like transistor has been published in Natural Materials last year. This is a, a, the, the working principle is slightly different. It's an electrochemical transistor. And the, the idea here is that uh, the, the main advantage is that there are um, um, this kind of device can be biased with the low voltages even if the performances in terms of current are not that high. But both these examples demonstrate that it is really possible to obtain now at a lab level, but um, hopefully in the near future on a more industrial level, this kind of uh, functionalities. Which are the perspectives for this kind of yarns? There are several possible ideas that could be done. Uh, for sure, the, the, the may, maybe the most natural application of electronics is in logic circuit. Um, at least for traditional electronics. Um, sure, the, the, the textile technologies allow to think to several kind of 
topologies of, of the yarn, and this topology of the yarn could be seen as a topology of a circuit, if you think that these yarns are not simply yarns, but are also the 